In our curriculum video, we gave an overview of the ILR school, and we talked about how its flexible curriculum allows you to tailor the degree to your interests. Now, I'd like to cover some of the resources and the support that you'll have to help you navigate all of the opportunities. And these are opportunities that you'll have both in and outside of the classroom. A unique aspect of the ILR experience is that there are several ways to get exposed to the type of work that you want to do, to the types of organizations, the types of issues that interest you, uh, whether it's through the academic year or during your summer or winter breaks. Research is an important part of the experience for a number of our students. Now you can participate in research through an independent study. Uh, there's a senior honors thesis available at ILR. You, you could also be a research assistant. You could be an assistant for a doctoral student or for a faculty member. And the research that our students do, it, it spans all of the issues in our field. So some students, they study their favorite sport and whether players are receiving fair compensation. Other research uh, is in public policy, things that interest them like uh, issues on immigration or international trade. Uh, there are students who are studying how do you address unemployment? And others who are looking into issues like how do nonprofits survive, especially in difficult economic times. So if you're passionate about it, uh, if it is in any way related to our field, you can find a way to conduct research as a student here. ILR also offers a credit internship program. Now the credit internship program, it's an opportunity where you get to work for a for-profit, a non-profit, uh, a government organization. And you do this during the fall or the spring academic term. So you work, you get some substantive work experience. Uh, sometimes you get paid as well. Uh, you also receive full credit for the experience. So you still actually graduate on time. So what this does is it gives you a chance not just to uh, explore an industry or, or an organization you care about, but it gives you an opportunity to take what you're learning, to, to start applying it now before you graduate. There are also several ways to have international experiences through the ILR school. Now the credit internship I mentioned, that could be within the US or it can be overseas. So that's one way you can go abroad. You're also welcome to use other Cornell study abroad programs. If they're open to, to other majors, then you're welcome to use those. ILR also has exchange programs with several colleges and universities throughout the world. There's one in England and Spain. We have one in Italy, one in Australia. We also offer programs that allow you to go overseas during a winter or summer break. We have opportunities in India and Vietnam, also one in South Africa. We have, as a school, a very high rate of students with international experiences because if you want to go abroad, there are so many ways to do it through our program. Another key strength of the school is personalized advising. Now, there are a lot of opportunities here for on and off campus experiences. There's a lot of resources throughout the university, but you don't have to navigate all this on your own. The main advising in the ILR school takes place through our Office of Student Services and our Office of Career Services. Both of these offices have multiple full-time advisors who will advise you throughout your entire time in college. The Office of Student Services, OSS, that's where you go for everything connected to your academic experience. If you're looking to get a tutor, if you want to improve your writing or your study skills, you want to know where you go for that, you go to OSS. They're going to help give you advice. Uh, they're going to help guide you to resources on campus that you can take advantage of. If you're having any type of personal challenge and you just want to talk to someone and want some support, if you want to start a new organization, a student club, just go right to OSS. Now, the Office of Career Services, that's where you go for anything connected to internships and job searches. It's also where you go just for career exploration. You go into that office regardless of where you're at. Some people come to college, they, they start knowing exactly what they want to do when they graduate. The majority of people don't. So whether you already have a specific field in mind, whether you, some people are even targeting a specific organization, or maybe you have no idea what any of it means. Maybe you're not sure how to pursue an internship or how to go about navigating all the resources here. For 
any of those situations, you can go to Career Services. They're going to help you figure out how to use all of the programs and resources here. Career Services also provides resume critiques and mock interviews. The Career Service Advisors are also who you go talk to just to discuss things like, well, what does it mean if you happen to like particular courses or there are particular projects that you're working on? They can help you connect with alumni. They can also help make sure you're aware of all the fairs and other opportunities there are on campus. Now, one of the things that the ILR degree is known for is we prepare students for a wide range of career paths. Now, in addition to the detailed curriculum that you'll find on ILR's admission site, you're also going to see a document called the Career Outcomes Report. I strongly recommend taking a look at that. Uh, it gives you a really good sense of why we say it's one major with endless possibilities. Now, as you'll see in that report, our students are very fortunate when it comes to pursuing graduate schools and employment. Now, but just to give you a quick overview, the majority of our graduates, right after they finish the degree, they go straight to work. Now, of that group that goes right to employment, a little more than half enter the business world for their first job. Some of them are going to human resource positions. Um, so those are people doing things like uh, general management roles, or sometimes they specialize in an area of HR, like recruitment or leadership development. A lot of other students go into financial services or consulting. Now, we have students who do business roles in the sports world. We have students who go on to be entrepreneurs. Another thing you'll see is we have a number of students who right after they graduate, they become paralegals. We do have students who go straight on to law school. Uh, the students who are going to be paralegals first, these are the students who are just testing the waters. They want to make sure it's right for them before they go to graduate school. So some graduates, some graduates will do public policy or nonprofit work. They'll go to advocacy organizations, uh, think tanks. Other students who go straight to employment, they'll go directly into government. We have graduates who go to all of the departments, departments of state, education, labor. Um, we've had students go right to the White House or go work for political campaigns. And still we have other students, they, they go on to a host of other areas. They go on to education, whether it's uh, teaching or education policy. So as you'll see on the Career Outcomes Report, uh, it's all over the map as to what students uh, do next, and we actually like it that way. We don't want to be a program that kind of pigeonholes people into the same three things. Now, graduate school is another opportunity for ILR students. Uh, there are a lot of students who go directly to grad school, but we also have a number of students who they're just not sure if it's right for them yet. In cases like that, we always advise the students to work first, to be 100% sure before they're going to make that commitment. So law school is very popular for ILR graduates. Um, and you know, for those students, it's, they're going on to all different types of law. Uh, some, some are going to do corporate law. Some will do labor and employment law. Other students will go on to human rights law or maybe specialize in something like real estate. Most of the people who go on to law, they, they figure out exactly what type of law they want to focus on in law school. Lastly, you'll see that uh, other graduate schools that our students pursue, again, a wide range. It's everything from masters and PhDs in business, uh, economics, conflict resolution, international affairs, statistics. So one of the things of which we are most proud is that our degree can prepare students for so many things. Uh, an ILR student can uh, go into an interview with a consulting firm or an investment bank uh, later in the day, they can go into an interview uh, with a public policy institute or a nonprofit. They can have a, just as strong an argument for all of those organizations as to how our degree prepared them to succeed in those roles. So there's a lot of paths available to students, and there's also a lot of support to help you get where you want to go. Thank you for joining, and feel free to contact us if you have any questions.